This is the second installment of my Slow Style Spotlight, a series where I've challenged myself to make a video about every single new piece of clothing that I acquire. Partly to shout about good brands that I love and that are doing great things, but also to help keep my own consumption in check and make sure I'm doing my research and asking the right questions. This video is gonna be looking at two pairs of shoes, wildly different in style and construction, but both handmade right here in Sheffield where I live. There are the Noble and Wiley sandals and the Goral sneakers. Despite ordering them at wildly different times, I actually ended up getting them within the same week as each other. So I thought this would be a really nice way to go through what makes them different, what makes them both amazing. The Noble and Wiley sandals are made from this stunning Italian veg tan leather. I opted for a classic brown, but it's got that slightly reddish hue, which I really love. But my favorite part of the materials of these are we opted for this contrasting runner in the undyed veg tan, which I think adds an almost like invisible, but really nice hand constructed feel to them and a nice touch. The Gorals use Horween leather, which is a tannery based over in Chicago. Very renowned and well-loved tannery. And if you are even remotely interested in the process of tanning or how it works, then there's an incredible write-up on the Horween leather website about this Chrome XL leather that Goral have used for these. I'll make sure to link that in the description because I really, really, really think you should read it. Noble and Wiley is a one-man show. This is Kenneth and his talented hands make every single pair of shoes that come out of the workshop. At busy times, this means there can be a bit of a wait. I think I was waiting around five to six weeks for these, but I've said before that made to order just has so many benefits, especially from the business side and the ecological side. There's the opportunity to completely minimize or eradicate waste. And I also feel like it can add so much more story to an item of clothing. It's a much more personal and considered feel to the item. And I am tempted to go off on a bit of a tangent here about the huge fast fashion giants and the volume of clothes they produce at standardized sizes for off the rail and the absurdity that that would fit everybody who wants to buy something or go shopping. But I will rein myself in and long story short, made to order is a winner. Kenneth also offers repairs and resoles on every pair of sandals and shoes he sells. Another winner. The Gorals are also made to order, but they have a few extra hands on deck in their factory so they can process things a little bit quicker. These fit bang on true to size for a sneaker. I know in like New Balance, I can end up being a whole size different to what I normally am, but I'm a UK 10, so are these, and they are so comfortable and fit great. If you follow me on Instagram or have watched any of my lookbook videos, you may have seen that I don't typically wear sneakers. And to be honest, that's less of a style thing and more of a utility thing. Sneakers just don't last. Even premium leather options have cheap cemented soles and when they wear through, they're just destined for the bin. But what I love about these Gorals is their commitment to a completely resolable sneaker. Yes, resolable sneakers. If I pull out the insole here, you can see. They do this nifty thing called a Blake stitch instead of cementing the soles to the upper. So there's a confidence here that I found a pair of sneakers that are actually gonna last me a long time and that I want to wear. I opted for browns in both shoes because it's just such a classic color. And whilst I was tempted to go for a white sneaker with the Gorals, I just, it's just not me. And the brown leather just looked so good. So we went with that. And the leather options I've already said with the contrasting veg tan on there. But style wise, these were both picked up as additions to my warmer weather wardrobe, which is severely lacking. You know, I'm a big fan of wool and knits and I've neglected to buy things that are actually wearable in summer for a long time. So I'm gonna do a quick 30 second lookbook of outfits I'll be repeating with these over summer because you don't need anyone on YouTube to be telling you how to style shoes. So to finish up, we're just gonna run down the checklist and make sure that I've done a good buy by my standards. The first one is obviously quality manufacturing. 
which I think is a given if you've seen the B-roll that I've put in of the workshops and the productions. I already own another pair of Noble and Wiley, so I was very confident in the quality of Kenneth's craftsmanship. Because as I said, it's a slightly bigger factory, but it was really interesting to see how much of that was still handmade by craftspeople in a larger setup. Kenneth has absolutely no problem about telling you where he sources his leathers from. They're veg tanned, so no chemicals, which is what we always want to hear. And Goral, again with a Mela sneaker, are shouting about the Horween leather because it's such a prestigious tannery that you would be shouting about them if you were working with them. So we have shoes made in Sheffield with leathers from Italy and the USA, respectively. Both are made to order, so there's gonna be no overproduction or wasted stock. And because they're handmade, instead of just cut from huge rolls, you can be a lot more efficient with how you cut the leather out. You don't wanna be wasting a hide. And as I've spoken to with Kenneth before, if there is like a slightly damaged part of leather, which would get rejected by a large manufacturer and just scrapped, you can just work around that and still make an amazing product without wasting any good leather. Both pairs of footwear come with a lifetime repair guarantee, which is amazing to hear and should be the norm when you think about how much trainers cost and how much big brands sell them for as well. It's just a case of getting back in touch with either brand and getting quoted for a repair. I do not resent paying for repairs when you know they're gonna be done properly. I've had shoe resoles in the past that were just not worth the few quid I spent, and actually I should have spent more money getting them done properly. The Gorals, I believe, go through like a full relasting and refurbish when you get them resold. And with Kenneth, there's multiple sole options if you find that one that you've come for isn't working. These are just a cracking little Vibram sole, super comfortable. Leather is one of the most natural materials around and for all of its hard wearing and long lasting properties, I don't think any synthetics come close to as minimal an impact as leather has. These tanneries use hides, which are a byproduct from the meat industry. Noble & Wiley, by the way, also offers vegan leather alternatives if that's of interest, but a good natural veg tan leather is just about as natural as it gets. So I'd love to know what you think. Should I have got different colors? Am I just boring going for brown all the time? Should I have at least got different colors because I was getting them so close together? Do you like the browns? Which one do you prefer? Which one would you wear? So many questions that you could answer in the comments. And getting involved in the comments is a great way to support the channel as is hitting the little like button. And if you're seeing my face for the sort of second or third time and you're still not subscribed, then I'd love it if you do something about that and go and hit the subscribe button. Got quite a few more videos in the works about looking into my wardrobe and style, as well as talking about tips and ways to be better consumers and buy more carefully. So if that interests you, then you know where the subscribe button is. And if you wanna catch up in the meantime, you can find me on Instagram here. And I think it's probably Maggie time now. Let's sign off. Come on, Mags. <laughs> if you could all please send some love to Maggie in the comments as well, because she's got to go into the vets this week and have a couple of teeth taken out.